There we go. There's your starting lineup for England. So there you go. England's most capped player, Hooker Amy Garnett, returns to the starting lineup, as does former captain and number eight, Catherine Spencer. Good Moving go. on to the in. England no, backs. 21 year old Emily Scarrett has moved to full back. That's where she started out her career, although so most of her caps have been won at outside centre. Moving on to Scotland now. Looking at the forwards in the second row, Anna Swan starts after injury. Rosalind Lynn Murphy's been ruled out with injury. While for the backs, young hope Caroline Colley returns at full back after being allowed a bit of time off for a holiday. She went skiing last week. How nice there to have some time off. And looking at those benches, the two that really stand out there for England, Alfonsi and Waterman on the bench. They will be desperate to get on the pitch this afternoon. Push. Offside. Still going forward. Matthews manages to get it out wide to Merchant. Can she skin her? Going all the way. England's over. Catherine Merchant scores the first try of this match within two minutes. Oh, such confidence and huge power and strength being shown by the England team there. Good nice. example of the forwards linking there. Becky Essex taking that off Rocky. Oh, space outside. Scarrett manages to find Matthews. Can Matthews go the whole way and slide over the line? Is she going to be scragged? Will the referee give that one? There you go. Try number two for England over the line there by Richmond's Fran Matthews. Mason caught a bit there at the back, but eventually it goes away into England hands. It's a breakaway. It's Emily Scarrett over the line. It's try number three for England. It's all looking a little bit easy. Mason. Pop off to Essex. McLean. And the outside. It's Essex. Oh, big tackle around the net. But Come off. has she given the try as well? Essex looked up there, yeah. despite the high tackle, and smiled as she went over the line. Indeed, fantastic positioning, change of direction, and the second row staying out the wing. Exactly what you want to see. Out it comes, McLean. Popped off ball. Burford. She can sniff the line, can Burford. Oh, it's Matthews there. Oh, they can all sniff the line. Oh, and over the line. There goes Rocky Clark. Given straight away there by the referee. Yeah, good Rocky body Clark, management. she literally rocked and rolled over that line, didn't she? She did. She did a little bit of a judo roll, and, and knowing Rocky well, that close to the line in a one-on-one -on -one or even a one-on-two battle, she's going to cross the line. Rock, no! Nice little pop off. Can it go straight through? It's Not Spencer held. who's in there. She stopped short though. Out wide. Oh, there's a big overlap out there. And Fran Matthews is going to say thank you very much. That's my second try. And she's pleased with that. Nice hugs going there for the Richmond wing. Oliver pops off to Fisher. Hand off by Fisher. She's going to go over the line to finish the half. Can she land it cleanly? Yes, she does. Try there for Heather Fisher. She'll be pleased with that one. She scored two against Italy, and now she's got one against Scotland as well. Mason. Fisher again. Oh, Fisher on the break. Is she going to look for support? Is she going to go herself? Oh, she's been scrapped, but is she going to land? Yes, she is. Heather Fisher there, her second try of the match. Oh, smile on her face eventually. She made it sure. Number two for Heather Fisher. Still England with the ball, just five metres short. Back to McLean, going to find Oliver. Out it goes, Scarrett. Can she go herself? She's got Merchant there as she needs her. Has she touched it over the line? She just leant backwards. There's the try for Emily Scarrett. It's her second of the match, nice and easy. She just leant backwards, straight over the line. It's good defence from Scotland to come in and stop that. Huge England attack. Burnfield, Clark. Can Clark go over a second? Yes, she can. Rochelle Rocky Clark goes over for her second try. And it's not often that you say a prop gets two tries in a match. No, but if one prop would, would it would be Rocky Clark. She, she's a very, very explosive and dynamic front row. Nicely taken. Down the line. Straight out to Burford. Scarrett. 
Managed to get Merchant. Merchant on the run now. She looks back inside. Who's there? It's Maggie. And Maggie's over the line. Maggie Alfonsi straight over the line. She's only been on the pitch five minutes, but she's made a huge impact. England now 65 points to Scotland's nil. Stop, Blue. Back up. Back up. Rosario again. Clark. McLean. She's got support on the outside. She doesn't need it, though. McLean straight over the line. She grounds it. She'll convert it herself. There she goes, Katie McLean. She has a, already scored a few tries in this Six Nations tournament. She'll be happy with that, though. Good support in that. Rosario, McLean. Burford back to McLean. Out wide. Danielle Waterman going forward now. Oh, she fancies it herself. She looks for the support. Oh, who else is there but that lady? Alfonsi, can she go over the line? Of course she can. She lands that one to the right-hand side of the post. Made by Danielle Waterman. Finished off by Maggie Alfonsi. Roberts on this near side. Advantage over. Sets it up. Croker. Nice run here by the hooker. Looking for options. She knows she can't go the whole way herself. Fisher was there, but she held on to it. Rosario, they've got numbers on the far side of England. Scarrett finds Waterman. Can she go the whole way herself? Too many Scotland players in her bath. Oh, she stretched. Did it go over? Referee says yes. Try for Danielle Waterman. She really used every single centimeter of arm length she had there to get that one over. So then, Jenny, let's have your women's Six Nations Player of the Match. Well, I, I say, what a choice amongst the England players. So many people have played so well. Uh, one person I would probably give a very honorable mention to would be Moment. Rachel Burford. Moment. She started the game at 13, now playing 12. And I think, you know, alongside her partner, Katie McLean, has marshaled well. But we have to give the player of the match to Heather Fisher. She's been absolutely everywhere in attack and defense and support. She's had a great game. Incredible stuff there by Heather Fisher. She's been working overtime out there today. And finally, England, they're going the trundle once again. And that's an easy one for Danielle Waterman. And it was almost, she made one there for Maggie Alfonsi. So Maggie Alfonsi said, I'll tell you what, I'll make one for you, my friend. Yeah, I think Danielle they might have had a little deal from the bench. When we get on, I'll make the break, you support me, and we'll, it, we'll exchange tries back and forth. There you go, the final whistle goes here at Twickenham. An incredible result there. England women, 89 points to Scotland's nil. And quite simply, Jenny, Scotland were outclassed by an incredible team. Yeah, absolutely. One, one of the finest performances I've seen from England in a long time.